Hello, the topic for today's lecture is accounting, its features and functions. Let us go through the introduction of today's lecture. After going through the lecture, the student should be able to understand the meaning of accounting, its features and the various functions which are performed by the accounting. Now, before proceeding further, let us first understand what does the accounting mean. That is the definition of accounting. Though there are many definitions of accounting going, going around, but the one of the most renowned and definition which is most widely accepted is a, a, a definition given by AICPA that is the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Accounting is defined by them as accounting is the art of recording, classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money the transactions and events that are in part at least of financial character and interpreting the results thereof. You can see that we have deliberately uh, highlighted some of the words because they are the main crux of this definition. That is, accounting is basically to record, to classify and to summarize in a very significant manner. That is, in accounts we can't do anything. There is a language to be communicated to the users because accounting is prepared by one man but it has to be used by many people and many organizations. So the message has to be conveyed in the right language. So it needs to be prepared in a significant manner. And it, we will record only those transactions which are in terms of money and or those events which are in part at least in terms of money. And then after preparation of the accounts, the accounts are used for the interpretation purpose which we will be studying in our later lectures. Now we come to features of accounting. As you have discussed with the definition that there are certain specific things which are already covered in the definition. Now we will discuss them one by one. The first one is the recording of the financial transaction. So the first and foremost thing is that it had to be a financial transaction. Had it not been a financial transaction, it will not be recorded in the books of accounts. For example, we have uh, there is a quarrel between the two managers in the factory and due to that uh, there is a strike going on in the factory for two days and this will not be recorded because it is not a financial transaction. So, similarly, suppose we receive an order uh, of rupees uh, 20,000 from a customer to supply the goods, but no advance has yet been received, then this will not be recorded because the money is not yet involved. So, the transaction to be recorded must have at least in part be in the financial terms. Suppose with that order, the customer has given us the advance, though we have not yet delivered the good, but we received the advance. So, then, uh, then we can record that entry in our books of accounts. Now, proceeding further. Accounting record only those transactions and event which are of financial character, which I have already told you. If a transaction cannot be measured in terms of money, it will not be recorded. Accounting records business transaction in a systematic manner, which I have already told you. That there is a proper language, the rules of debits and credit in which the accounts will be recorded. This will be studied in our later chapters. The transactions are recorded in a chronological manner, that is date wise. We must record, start with the first day and then proceed on as the accounting period progresses. Recording is done in a book called journal. This book may further be subdivided into various sub journals or subsidiary books like cash book, sale book, purchase book, etc. But this is not compulsory. A person can prepare either a one journal or if the transactions are numerous, then he can subdivide them just like we do uh, prepare our regular account uh, books in our routine life. That if we have suppose 24 numbers to be recorded. We record in a single diary, but suppose there are 54 numbers, then we uh, record them in some uh, different different uh, diaries that is for uh, our friends and then for our colleagues and so on. Similarly, in accounts, if the transactions are less, then we can prepare a single journal, but if the transactions are numerous, then we it's better to subdivide the journal into various books. Now, the second step is classifying, that is, it is a process of grouping the entry. Of one nature at one place. This is done by opening accounts in a book called ledger. Ledger contains all the accounts of the business. So ledger actually is a word given to a combination of all the accounts which are prepared in the business. A single account is for the purpose to club all the entries related to that particular account. And when we club all the accounts together, it is called combinedly ledger. Ledger is also known as book of principal entry. Ledger contains all the accounts of the business. For example, the, all the cash transactions like cash sales, cash purchase, cash expenses, revenues are put in one place in the ledger under the heading cash account. Similarly, the transactions related to various persons, whether customers or suppliers, 
are recorded separately in the name of each person in a ledger. For example, suppose we have supplied goods to Harish and then we have received some cash from Harish. Then again we supply some goods. Then he paid some money by check. All these transactions related to Harish has to be put into one account known as Harish's account. So that at the end of the accounting period we get to know what total balance is due either due to Harish or we have to receive money from him. So that at every time we need not to check each and every entry and we are uh, provided with the net balance. Then the next step is summarizing. This is perhaps the last step of the basic accounting cycle though many things need to be done even after that. But for the basic accounting cycle there are three steps which are considered. That is one is the recording, second one is the summer classifying and the third one is summarizing. So now the summarizing part. It is the art of presenting the classified data in a manner which is understandable and useful to the management and other interested parties. You might agree that there are thousands of transactions entered by a business in a year. Suppose if all the transactions are recorded in the journal and they are transferred then to ledger and if that is put to uh, before a user who is not very expert of accounting, he will not be able to understand anything out of it. So for him, his purpose it need to be summarized. Just like at the end of every story we need to summarize the moral of the story. Similarly, you can say that we have to summarize the accounts in a particular manner so that it is understandable to a layman or to a person who has does not have the expert knowledge of accounts but has a, only the basic knowledge of accounts. And this is done by summarizing. This involves preparation of the trial balance for checking out the arithmetical accuracy. First, uh, in summarizing, out of all the ledger balances, we prepare the trial balance to check the arithmetic accuracy whether the accounts are at least arithmetically accurate or not that is whether the total of the debit is equal to the total of credit or not but this is not the final step after this the final accounts have to be prepared which include the trading and profit loss account and the balance sheet uh, the trading and profit loss account as the name suggests is prepared to know the total or net profit or loss which has been uh, earned by the business during the accounting period that is when all the expenses and all the incomes are clubbed together under one uh, heading that is profit loss account we get to know the net result of the business and the remaining accounts have to be transferred to balance sheet which is prepared to show the financial position of the business this will be clarified in the, our later lectures but for now you can uh, understand that all the expenses and income are summarized under the profit loss account and all the assets and liabilities are summarized under the heading balance sheet. Profit loss account gives us the picture about the profit loss and the balance sheet gives us the picture about the financial position of the business. Then comes the last step that is the interpretation of the results. Though this is not the part of basic accounting but it is the ultimate purpose of nowadays accounting because accounting nowadays is done for various stakeholders. Everybody want to analyze and interpret the account in their own manner and for their own sake because accounts no longer is prepared only for the management or for the employees or for the owners. They are prepared for the creditors, for the debenture holders, for the banks, for the government and for the tax authorities and various other users which we will be studying in the later chapters and all of them interpret the accounts by their own way. So for the purpose of analysis the accounting record must be in such a way so as to be able to portray the significance of all the transactions and events individually and collectively the analysis of accountancy statement will help the management to judge the performance of business operation and for preparing the future plans the results of analysis and interpretation are communicated to the proprietor and other interested parties such as creditors employees investors etc and they all will then interpret the results by their own techniques and various tools which are available for the interpretation purposes now we come to the next topic of our lecture that is objective or functions of accounting that is what are the basic functions which an accounting perform because as we have already said that accounting is no longer only for the internal use it is also for many other purposes so let us first study in the broad manner what are the various functions to be performed by accounting the first and foremost purpose is to maintain the record of the purpose business though there may, may be many functions but the foremost purpose remains to be the same that is the recording of the transaction whether even a housewife when he when she spend the money given by her husband or uh, she earn himself when she spend she wants to maintain some record of that transaction because she get to know 
how much money is saved by, by her uh, after every month or after every year so whenever we are carrying the business we also need to know whether we are earning uh, running our business in a proper manner or not so to maintain the record of the business is the basic function of any accounting information so the main objective of accounting is to keep a systematic record of financial transaction this objective has gained importance due to the limitation of human memory which cannot maintain a record of large number of day to day business transactions the next function of accounting is the calculation of profit loss as we know that everybody do the business for the sake of profit or loss even a non profit organization we are not for profit organization which are operating they also have to earn something so that they can reinvest that into their activities even if they do not want to take it back home so the next purpose or the function of accounting which is serve is to calculate the profit loss account the next importance of account is to ascertain net result of day to day transaction for a particular period that is to find out whether during the period the firm earned the profit or suffered a loss for this purpose a income statement or trading and profit loss account is to be prepared which will uh, collect all the data regarding all expenses and losses and all incomes and gains on one side and the net result of that will be either profit or loss so the businessman get to know whether he has performed better or not as compared to the last year or as compared to the other peers in the same industry then the next function is to depict the financial position even if we are earning profits or we are running a loss but we also need to know whether, what is our financial position that is whether our future is secure or not similarly a business is uh, want to know whether the future of the business is secure or not and even those who are investing in the business or who are uh, thinking about investing in the business always want to know whether the future of the business is secured or not that is the financial position of the business is good or not so this is our third purpose that is to depict the financial position for a businessman it is also necessary to know the financial health of the health of the firm this is the uh, word health of the firm and for this purpose a statement listing assets liability and owner capital is prepared this statement is called a balance sheet or a position statement then the next function is to make the information available to various groups and users account has to communicate the financial fact about an enterprise to the various interested parties like owners investors creditors etc this is done to enable these parties to take sound and economic decision this is more so important because nowadays the business has expanded its horizons nowadays the business is no longer controlled by a single individual it's either a partnership or even a joint stock company in which there are many stakeholders moreover the business take finances from the outside world also that is from the bank from the debenture holders from the loan givers etc and large number of employees are also involved in the business who are paid on on the incentive basis whether the company is earning profit or not similarly the tax is imposed by the government so various users need accounting information for various purposes which we will be discussing in the uh, later lectures so the function of accounting is to provide all of them with the all necessary useful information that is none of them is derived from of any information which they want for their own purposes then the last function of the accounting is to meet the legal requirement as our uh, economy is progressing and we are slowly uh, coming from underdeveloped to developed country or developing country there are more and more strict laws to be uh, followed so the, an accountant is an, under an obligation to while preparing the accounts to follow all those legal requirement this is an additional responsibility on the accountant to prepare accounts in the manner that they meet all legal requirements as various laws like income tax act companies act sale tax act excise law etc require the submission of whole of the accounts or a part of it so an accountant need to know that the accounts must be prepared in such a language that all of the legal requirements are fulfilled because if none of if none of them or any one of them is not fulfilled then it could result in a legal implications for the business and penalties can be imposed on the business which of course nobody will will want so it's better that while preparing the account we do follow all the formalities of all the accounts of taxation and other laws like section 298 of the companies act require the annual accounts to be submitted every year 
so the accounts have to be submitted in the manner as prescribed in the company's act similarly the tax authority uh, get to know the profit before extraordinary items or the profit before tax so that they can compute tax on that so the accounts have to be prepared keeping in mind all these things so that all these legal requirements are fulfilled so we can see that there are various functions to be performed by accounting let us recapture them the first is the maintenance of record of the business second is to calculate the profit and loss of the business third is to depict the financial position of the business fourth is to make information available to various groups or various stakeholders and users which we will discuss uh, detail in the later lecture and then to meet the legal requirement for taxation and other law purposes let us summarize the today's lecture in the following words that accounting is ultimately the process of recording classifying and summarizing the financial data so the four things which have to be kept in mind is first it had to be a financial data no non financial data can ever be recorded in the account if it had to be recorded in account it is at least to be in part at least in financial term as we have i have explained earlier that suppose we we'll de deliver the goods to the customer and no cash is received to us even then some financial transaction is involved so it will be recorded in the books of account but suppose we have placed an order with a supplier to supply the raw material but neither the goods are received by us nor any cash has been paid by us then it is completely a non financial transaction and it will not be recorded in the books of accounts howsoever big amount it may be so to be recorded it had to be a financial transaction then if it is proved that it is a financial transaction then it had to be recorded classified and summarized recording as you may remember recall is done always in a journal which is called book of original entry classification is done in a ledger called book of principal entry and summarizing is done first in trial balance only for the basic purpose and then ultimately in the final account that is the profit loss account and the balance sheet for the purpose of knowing the net profit and the financial position of the company and to convey its results to the outside world then at last we can say that it is prepared not only for getting the financial results rather it perform various other useful function as you have already seen that <coughs> sorry just to convey the financial results is not only the purpose of account there are other purposes also because the accounts are being used by various users nowadays for various purposes so an accountant need to be to keep this thing in mind so that his accounts is useful for various users and stakeholder for their own purposes and he satisfy the requirement of each one of them separately thank you